We're only the second owners. Um, my husband bought it in 1977 uh -huh. from uh, Louis Posner, who evidently mm -hmm. was quite a character. Is that right? He used to do handstands on the counters for the students, and I, I didn't meet him, <laughs> unfortunately, but I heard the stories. They were great. Right. It's one of Tucson's oldest continuously running businesses. Philip Posner actually started Posner Paint Store in 1913 out of a real need in downtown. He was a sign painter. Okay. And he came from uh, New York. Mm -hmm. And there were no supplies for sign painters, and he had friends here. Right. So evidently he didn't have the money to really start it. So he uh, got a salesman in, and the salesman said, I will put this on a tab. He used the uh, packaging for all the supplies as counters. Oh, wow. <laughs> and just built it up from there. As the business grew, Mr. Posner began an all-important relationship with the University of Arizona. He did calligraphy, you know, because okay. he was a sign painter. Mm -hmm. And so he did a lot of certificates and things for the university, and I have been able to do some of that oh, off that right? and on through the years, which is nice, kind of carrying on his tradition. And that relationship with the U of A has been key to Posner's success. The store is now located on University, just steps from the western edge of campus. They work really well with us, you know, all the departments, but also the teachers, mm -hmm. because we want to get the right supplies for their students. Right. You know, so it's, uh, it's, it's been really nice. Yeah. That has transformed Posner's into a full-service art store. Everything the U of A and Pima College students need, as well as a very successful framing business upstairs. Posner celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2013, complete with a mayoral proclamation. Sadly, Emily's husband, Dick Brown, passed away a year and a half ago, but she has been able to continue the same great service. We keep it mom and pop. Right. But, you know, I want to keep that friendly. Right. We've taken exactly. our kids home in the rain. We've taken their projects to school in the truck. We, you know, we want it to be that kind of place. It must be gratifying to know that it's still a viable uh, business in Tucson. It really is. Emily says it's also gratifying to have former students stop in with their kids who now go to the U of A. And it's the next generation of her own family that is the future of Posner's. Her daughter Jenny now manages the store. In this online shopping world, she says Posner's has uniquely positioned itself to succeed. Some of the things that we offer, you really can't get online. The architecture students come over, we do board cutting for them. You can't get that online. You can't buy one pencil online. Um, we do custom framing. We work with the teachers. We do a lot of kits at back to school. Despite some small changes and a couple of moves, Posner's is thriving after 105 years in business. It's still basically selling a customer supplies that they, they need. Right. And, and that will always continue. Well, 105 years. Congratulations. Thank and you. And you're absolutely very much. Arizona. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>